Modern Warfare 2. It's hard to believe this game is 10 years old already. It's even harder to believe everything that this game accomplished and how popular it was. At the time, in 2009, it had become the best-selling video game for that year. It not only surpassed Call of Duty 4 and World at War and the previous Call of Duty games in popularity and total sales, but it had beat out nearly every other Xbox 360 game in total copies sold. The only other game rivaling with MW2 at the time was a historic game made from 2007. You guessed it, Halo 3. Even to this day, Modern Warfare 2 is still in the top 10 for total copies sold on the Xbox 360, which is arguably the greatest console ever made. Everybody was playing MW2 back in 2009. Even after Russia banned the game because of that no Russian airport mission from the campaign, people were still dying to play it over there. It was like a worldwide epidemic. If you weren't playing this game when it came out in 2009, you must have been living in a cave somewhere. Everybody was playing this game. Millions of people were playing it. I can't fully describe the hype and the obsession surrounding this game at the time. It was insane. But with any popularity or any type of success comes hatred, backlash, and a big-ass target on your head. Approximately three years after Modern Warfare 2 was released, Favela, one of the best maps from Modern Warfare 2, and also my personal favorite, was temporarily taken out of the map rotation. It was taken out of the multiplayer because of this image that was sitting above a toilet seat. No, in all seriousness, I'm not kidding. Some of you might not remember, but this enraged Muslim gamers and part of that community. MW2 sales actually took a bit of a dive after this happened. Sure, all games plunge over time, but I still don't think people fully understand how well MW2 was doing up until that time. I firmly believe if that did not happen, Modern Warfare 2 would have been the best-selling first-person shooter game of all time. That's no disrespect to Halo 3 and some of the other shooter games, but let's be honest. Modern Warfare 2 took things to a whole new level. The vibe around MW2 was shaken, there's no denying that, but it was never extinguished. Still to this day, when you ask anyone that's played this game, hey, what's the best game you ever played? It sure as hell doesn't take too long before this game spits out of their mouth faster than a used piece of juicy fruit. This game had one of the best campaigns not only in Call of Duty, but in the history of first-person shooters. And it had an even better multiplayer, the best out of all the Call of Duty games. The best kill streaks, the best perks, the best maps, the best guns, the best attachments. Shit, this game had the best everything. They went bigger, better, and louder with everything. This game said, fuck your feelings. I mean, even the explosives. Can you name another game that had better explosives? I didn't think so. The Javelin from MW2... Hearing one of those go off and not knowing where it's going to land, and if you mixed it with the perk Danger Close, that was a lot of madness right there. And sure, the noob tubes and the RPGs were a bit overwhelming, and honestly, they were the only bad things in the entire multiplayer, but we had so many things that just stood out. We had new playstyles invented solely because of this game. MW2's Riot Shield... And let's not forget about the tack knife. That was all new to the series. When you think of running around with a tack knife, you think of this game. As we look back, nobody did it better. Modern Warfare 2 will forever be the golden game of the series. Of course, right next to World at War and Call of Duty 4 and maybe Black Ops 1 for the multiplayer, that time frame when companies cared more about the quality of the product that they were putting out will probably never be replicated again. In today's world, it's the exact opposite, especially when it comes to video games. It's all about the money and quantity, not quality. And sure, by no means was this game perfect. That's not what I'm saying. Nothing is. It wasn't perfectly developed, but you know what? It had a fan base that blew it up bigger than any other. That is what sets this game apart from the others. 
I used to spend countless hours playing this game. I would play this game for over 24 hours straight at a time some days. I think I played it 31 or 32 hours in a row at one point. And this was all well before I started doing YouTube videos or before I started live streaming. I was just having a good time with my buddies and we lost track of time because of how good this game was and how much fun we had playing it. And just speaking for myself, I haven't recaptured that feeling again. Sure, some other games have been great, especially at the beginning of the decade between 2010 and 2013 with Black Ops 1, CSGO, GTA, MW3, and then later on with Star Wars Battlefront 3 and Battlefield 1 around the 2015-2016 time frame. But none of those remind me of how much fun Modern Warfare 2 and also World at War were back in the good old days. Nothing quite reaches that cocaine crazy level like those two games did. I can't play another game for about 30 hours straight. It's just not within me to do that on any other games. And honestly, those two games are probably the only ones where I can start playing them and most likely be in a better mood by the time I'm done playing them. That almost doesn't happen at all with other video games. I can literally, still to this day, 10 years later, play MW2 if I can find a playable lobby, and I will forget about everything else that's going on in my life. To me, that's the purpose of a good video game. You can't make that stuff up. Now that it is the end of 2019, the 10-year anniversary of Modern Warfare 2 today, sure, there's a lot of issues with the game now. It hasn't aged very well. On Xbox One, it's almost impossible to find a lobby unless you join off of somebody. And on the 360 and PS3 version, there's a ton of modded lobbies. I'm still hoping for MW2 Remastered. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm tired of waiting for it. That should have been the game that came out this year instead of Modern Warfare 2019. The future of MW2 is uncertain. And that's a damn shame. We need to make a massive push for this game to get remastered once again. I remember there was a petition a few years ago to have this game remastered and over 200,000 people signed it online. Since then, I believe that petition has been closed, but we need to do something like that again. If they can remaster Call of Duty 4, they sure as hell can remaster this game too. Anyways guys, thanks for listening to me speak my mind about this one-of-a-kind game. Still to this day, I can't believe that a picture above a frickin' toilet seat upset more people than a mission where you kill a bunch of innocent Russians. But anyways, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Happy 10 year anniversary to the greatest game ever made. Long live Modern Warfare 2. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.